Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Shovel Knight, King of Cards. Last time we found the alt routes in this area, the Lost Station. It looks like we still have a medal there, but first, how about we go over here and get this stockpile of treasure. Ooh, that's a, that's a big boy. Look at that. Oh yeah. Give me all of that. That's that's actually a ton of money. It was not kidding when it said it was a stockpile. That's 3,000 just like that. I don't really think we had anything before we came here. Can I go in there? It looks like a door, potentially. So I was kind of curious. Alrighty. Cleared that out. What well, is this chemical plant right here? The ex... Oh, okay, so now we're at Plague Knight's area. Got it. Well, I don't think I can do the Volcanic Vault yet, because I think that gives me a new ability, so let's go to the Lost City Station. Alrighty. This is like a the Mole Knight kind of area. I quite like this zone. Uh, honestly, there's just, there's just, like, all of Shovel Knight is so incredibly good that... It's kind of hard for me to not like any one zone in particular. I think... I think when I originally played, like, uh, when I do Vanilla Shovel Knight, I think probably one of my most hated areas, even though I love the song, is, uh, Polar Knight's area. Just because... I remember that one giving me some of the most trouble when I played Shovel Knight originally. I just remembered having a lot of problems with that particular area. I can't remember if it was the ice physics or if it was something else that was giving me a bunch of trouble, but... I definitely distinctly remember that giving me a lot of trouble. Ow. Don't do that, please. Ow. You do it again. Right after I tell you not to. I'm just gonna sit here and bounce on your head forever. This is your life now. He's down there freaking out like, oh god, get him off. Alright. Alright, so we're dealing with this mechanic again. Where we, like, dig through the ground. Hello, Beto. I like the name Beto. Reminds me of Cheeto. No, you don't. Okay, maybe you do, but you're not gonna live through doing it. Yeah, see? Death to all whip users. Go back to Castlevania, you jerk. Or Bloodstained, I guess. Uh. Feels like there's a reason to go over there, but... That's just death, isn't it? Oh, I guess that's how you get out if you accidentally fall through some of those dirt clumps right there. Alright, good to know. I feel like this is probably where some sort of secret is. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is... Yeah, this is a level I've already done, actually. I, I just... I, I'd completely forgotten about that. Because yeah, I recognize that T-Rex hidden item over here. And I also know there's 200 gold right here. Whoop. We just gotta, uh, not take the alt exit this time. Well, we can go ahead and get this again. Oh yeah, that was just the metal. That's right. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm remembering this now. For a second, I had forgotten. I'm like, oh yeah, this is an area I've already done. No, you don't. There we go. Give me my health back and kindly go away. Yeah, yeah, that's where the alt exit was, I believe. Over there. It has been, I think, a day since I recorded this last, so I am a bit fuzzy on some of the details. I want that, I want that, like, gold coin right there. Thank you. 20 gold, that's so much, you know? Goodbye. Wow, what a way to go. You just jump off a cliff to your death. There we go. Trying very carefully to avoid that lava. Hmm. What's down here, I wonder? Ow. You jerks. Ooh, I want that. Hello, clump. What you got for me? Nothing too crazy. Alright, down we go. Oop, two Castlevania warriors. Wow, I'm really styling on them currently. I just got them locked in my rhythm. If, uh, 
if I can quote Ippo. The anime, Hahime no Ippo. Love that anime. I'm not usually a sports anime kind of person, but I don't know, boxing just works. Alright. We got some money hanging out up here for us. A little bit risky to get that second one, though. These guys have a fun pattern to uh, exploit. Oh, thank you for saving my life there, actually. Uh, they didn't save it too well. Okay. We took a bunch of damage. That's fine. That I can handle. Give me all money. And the heart, actually. Thank you so much. I needed that, in fact. I wonder if there's anything I could move to on that screen. Uh... Hello? I don't like your feet. It's creepy. Uh, thanks for the platforms, I guess? What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, okay, I see. I see. There we go. I have one HP left, though, so I should be careful. Can I hit you with the hammer? No. Yeah, okay. So, that, that, was, that was my fault for going into that with low health. I shouldn't have gotten beat up so much at the beginning of the stage. Or I should have at least uh, ground, uh, tried grinding some health off of uh, some enemies there. With the uh, heart hammer. The heart hammer is definitely something I wish I had had in vanilla Shovel Knight. It's just such a useful relic. Not to say the ones in Shovel Knight aren't, but like, basically being able to sustain yourself like that is pretty useful. You can't get to me. You are weak, Castlevania man. No, you- oh. Okay, that was almost bad. You almost got me there, I'll, I'll give you that. Um... Yeah, this is a bit hairy. Okay, thank you for the heart. I appreciate it a lot, actually. No, stop, I wanna bop you. There we go. Come on. You're gonna, you're gonna take this hammer, damn it. There we go. Now we're full health going in here. Okay, is there a reason? No. I couldn't, like, jump to the side or anything there. I don't like this weird monkey mole knight. Like, what is, what is with him? I don't like it. Alright, you gonna put another platform down for me, you idiot? You're like every boss in the, uh, like, 8-bit area. It's like... Well, they're damaging me by doing this, so maybe I should keep doing it over and over again. Ah. Thought I could maybe get him. There you go. Put one right there for me. Thank you kindly. Put another one down for me, chap. Come on, old bean. There we go. Ah, you got away from me. Jerk. He has a lot of health, actually. I'll give him that. Come here. No. Why must you run? Stop doing that. There we go. You weird, like, monkey man. Stop that. Alright. We made it. A job well done by King Knight. Alright, we going up? Where are we going here? Iron Whale, Deep Sea Trench. Let's go here. Hear ye, hear ye. We got some, uh, Mantines to deal with. They really do look exactly like Mantines, but... I guess Mantine looks exactly like a Manta Ray, so... Makes sense. Look at these boys. They remind me of, uh, Rabbit Rays from, uh... Subnautica, which is a game that both terrifies me and I love it. It's, it's a weird relationship. An extremely weird relationship. I'm very... There's not very many sca things that scare me, like, at all. But underwater, like, deep sea, just looking beneath you and seeing, like, infinite blackness and, like, anything could come out of it and eat you. 
that stuff terrifies me. Like, that was why Subnautica was pretty rough for me to play, but I managed to get through it. It took a lot of kind of just waiting in one area and hoping I don't hear something that terrifies me, but I managed to get through. Oh, you jump really high from in the water. All right, you jerk, just, just fall. Thank you. I just barely managed to get that. So I don't need you to help me do that now. Oh, the Wiggly Boys. Oh no, don't break that, please. That would be bad. Huh. Okay, so we can jump off of those. Okay, I think I see what I need to do here. There we go. Can't believe I actually managed to pull that off, but I did it. Now for me to die. Doing something very similar. Okay, at least it's slow, so it'll give me time to kind of aim my jumps. There we go. Do I get a medal? Yes, I do. So that's two of the medals for this level already collected. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't think going back to get that little bit of gold over there is worth it. I feel like I could potentially die from doing it, so I just don't really want to take the risk. Thanks for the cash. I actually, um... A lot of people don't like them, I know, but I actually don't have a problem with underwater levels in games. I usually like them, even. I just like the aesthetic. Maybe it's because I grew up on uh, Super Mario Sunshine, and just, like, the underwater feel and aesthetic is something that I enjoy, but... Uh, I was about to say, that was too easy. Hi. I'm just sitting here talking about how I don't like things that are underwater. And then the game throws this at me. How do I actually damage you? Oh, well, there's the metal. Cool. Do I just have to grab the ring when he goes by? Because I don't see a way to attack him, actually. That might be what I have to do. No. Oh, I remember this boss. Huh. Ooh. Okay, pirouetting on the back like that doesn't work. In case anyone was wondering. Yeah, I totally wasn't prepared for that boss. No, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that at all. I accidentally got the secret without even attempting to. Alright, well, I guess we gotta go through it now. I don't think we get the money again. Yeah. Oh well. I did it without even trying. Alright, down we go. Take me back to, uh, Anglerfish Chan, if you will. There we go. The platforming in this area feels pretty fun, just how kind of bouncy it is. I quite like that. Okay, go away. I don't like you. There we go. All right, do your worst. I know I just kind of have to float down and dodge you. So you're really not too bad. Tell me, giant anglerfish. Does this look, ooh. Okay, that was, that was bad actually. And now I've taken a bunch of damage already. Let's at least get our money back because <clears throat> I don't see this particular attempt going very well. Okay, thank you. Ooh, that's actually a really good way to hit it. Okay. Alright, so this boss may not be as hard as I initially thought. Boom. Ooh, barely dodged that. Alright. So yeah, easier than I initially thought for sure. Give me a heart, please. Thank you. Ow. Okay. Couldn't quite jump on top of him there. Boom. Boom. There we go. Give me all that moolah. Come back here, fishies. I don't want to lose you, especially the big one. Okay. Whew. 
Now we just go over here to get out of the level. Get out of here, jerks. Later. Wow, we're just flying through the levels in this so far. This particular episode. Come here, Jim. I will fight you. Okay. I see what you're all about. Give me that money, please. Actually, is that a secret over there? I feel like it could be. No. Okay. Just just wanted to check. My secret senses were tingling. Oh, well, I got that one at least. Whoop. Alrighty. No, get out of here, you weird eel. I don't like you. You're like weird ghost eels, basically. I don't enjoy them. Alright, just pixel hunting on the room. See if we can find any secrets. Found some stuff here, that's for sure. Could you please come down again, Mr. Anchor? I so need you to come down. Not that fast, though. Don't want to die. Ooh. Go away, you. Oh, I didn't actually know what was going to happen there. Oh, wow, it drug me through walls. Hi. Unhand me, please. Curses, that fish had drawn near. I waited for hours. You scared it away with that gilded getup. Gilded and in gilded indeed, workmen. Have you no respect for your betters? You found royalty. I respect only one thing, and that's wealth. But you appear to be wearing most of yours. Thank you. The trick with gold polish, you see, is small clockwise circles with a soft brush. God, our character is such an ass, but I love him. I'll bear that in mind as I toss it in the vaults, and you overboard with the other worthless trash. Alright, come on, let's go. Cannon boy. Okay, it controls a bit weird in here, I'll give you that. Yeah, you like that? You like those heals? Boom. What is that? Oh, they're like weird sea urchins. Okay. Come here, you. Is this just your giant pile of money, Scrooge Maduck? You're not too difficult of a fight, all things considered, though. You're pretty slow, which helps with the whole damaging you thing. Sorry, boy. I've got too much finesse for you. Boom. All your treasure is mine. Gotta twirl that staff. Remember, boy, small circles. With a soft brush. <laughs> That's how you polish your gold. You certainly don't keep it at the bottom of the ocean. I feel like that would probably harm the metal. Alright, so now we're getting into the Plague Knight zones. So what's the deal with the- ooh. Do I actually have enough to do something on the ship? Because I have a lot of money. I definitely would not like to lose it. Hello everyone. Your king is here. Uh, hi mom. Sweetheart. Blah 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 blah. Mother. Okay. We need six medals. I don't think there was any armor. I mean, I'll probably buy all the armor at some point just to do it, but I think there's things over here to buy. Yeah. Spin... Hold down to cry your heart out and restore health. Spin to absorb nearby gold. When your health is full, land while spinning to unleash impact sparks. Press X near the end of a bash to perform a more powerful roll. Huh. I mean, all of these sound pretty interesting. I mean, Impact Sparks just sounds awesome. Spin to absorb nearby gold just seems useful, though, in all honesty. You taking a, an, a wrench to me? So that is just a passive upgrade, right? Right? Shoulder of Bashing. Yeah, okay. Make way. Plow through your problems with... Pugilism, wealth, whirl. Okay, yeah, that's that's a really good upgrade, actually. Hmm. Alright, well, 
I would like to get some card battles in this episode, so... Why don't we see if we can take on Skip? Or we can see if we can take you on. We have the money, too, to buy our cards back if we lose them, so... Let's go ahead and see if we can give Skip another try. Alright, Skip. Please, take it easy on me, okay, man? I, I really don't... I really don't need you doing what you've been doing all these other times. Hmm. Well, pushing that... Pushing that one down seems like the best call, so let's go ahead and do that. We got our Rat King. Aw, oh, come on! I didn't think about that. That was that was a good play on his part. I've got to get used to actually doing this again. I think this should be good. I'm going to push him on there, but I'm going to push him right off in just a second. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, so that gym says... Uh, let's... Hmm. Let's see if we can start working on getting this one, perhaps? Hmm. Ah, I'm already playing horribly. Well, let's just go ahead and move you over there. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty locked down here. Um, do I have anything that moves to the right? Doesn't seem like it. Because I would... Well, I mean, I have... I mean, I'm not, not to the right, to the left. I need something that moves to the left so I can scoot this character over there. Because as things stand right now, he's about to push this, uh, Beto... ...onto that gym. Hmm. Let's see, if we do that... ...he can push him out of the way. That doesn't work. That works, but... Mm, I don't know, I just don't like that plan very much. Can't push that up anymore. Alright, it's, it's basically gonna be a fight for that vinyl one. Okay, I think this is probably my best call. Does he have something to the right? Yeah, okay, so he has something... I mean, he has a double arrow to the left, so he could potentially push my card over there. Ah, but he could also... No, he can't. Okay, never mind. I think this might work. Ah, I didn't think of that, though. Okay, well, now he's in a good position to get that. He does, ha he ha he does have something to push it down. I think I just need to wait now, potentially. He might have this on lock already, in fact. So we need a double arrow to push that way. Hmm. I can't push this way. Yeah, I might be boned again. Whew. Hmm. I'm trying, but I'm... I'm really not seeing anything here. We might have lost this one. I like to think I got closer than I have other times, but in reality, I I don't think I did. Because I think the only move I can really make is pushing him down there. You know what? Let's do that. Let's see how that works out for us. Yeah, okay. He just pushed me onto that gym just to end the game. Good play. Oh, you can have gold armor. I don't... I don't care about that boy. You can have him for sure. I'll rematch you, though. Come on, Skip. Can't you just let me have this one? I would like some of your cards. Ooh, that's a really good spot for that card. Alright, well, I think we're going to go ahead and place ourselves here or here. Kind of a hard choice. If I, uh, if he pushes that, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Let's put you here. 
All right, what you got? Hmm. Go ahead and move you out of the way, I suppose. That would enable him to get a card up there. But no, I think I want to be lined up on this one. Hmm. All right, so my my arrows will completely reverse if I do this. So I won't be able to destroy that card off of that gem, but I could destroy his uh, rat down here. Not really sure of the point in doing that, however. Hmm. That card is just not what I need right now. This could be useful. Yeah, let's put that down. Alright, that's what you want to do, huh? That's how you want to play it? Um... Hmm. Okay, if we have a double arrow, we could push up onto his gold armor and destroy that. Ooh, or we could just... Yeah, I think that's a better call, actually. And let's hope we get one of our up arrows. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, he got me there. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and get you down there, I suppose. Does he have an up? He does. He has two up arrows, in fact. So this might be a bad play. I kind of want to go ahead and get you down. So that I can potentially use you, but there's no real good spot to put you currently. And doing that would be a death sentence. So let's go ahead and just do that for now. Okay. So things are pretty locked down there. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I think this might be good. And then I can push him onto that other card and destroy it. Hmm. He's gonna win, I think. Because if I, if I do this, then he'll just put a card on the left side next turn and win. Okay, he doesn't have an up arrow though, so he cannot push Skip onto that gym. So what I need to do is push you over there, so I take that. Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay, there we go. Now I have a gym of my own. Aw, oh, you bastard. Oh, that's awful. I think that may have cost us. Unless... I can't because of the double arrow. And I can't move left or right. Yeah, that's... That's game yet again. Man, he always manages to fuck me over at the last second. He's always like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're totally controlling the board, oops. Hmm. His deck isn't even that great, I just feel like I'm not playing well. Yeah, that's it. Alright, well... What you want this time? No, he's actually good. Damn it. I wish I didn't have to actually put a card in right now, because I'm about to just go buy that card back anyway. But whatever, we'll... Okay, I guess we're rematching him again. <laughs> Come on, Skip. Please just stop doing me like this. Yeah, let's put you right there. Hmm. Alright, that's a good position for that card to be in. I, uh, actually, I can't really do much with it. Do I have a down arrow? I don't. Ah, I wish I had a down arrow so badly. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and push you out of the way and get there. If he tries to get anything on that middle gym, I can use my Blaze Orb to destroy it. Ooh, Phantom Knight, you're pretty useful. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess something I should be trying to do more is move as many of his cards as I can into the graveyard squares. Because if I just completely lock him out of the board, I have a pretty good standing. So that could be something to think about. Well, let's go ahead and use you just to knock him out. Let's see what we can do with that. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Now that card is dead. Hmm. There's no real way to... Oh, I could push it down. I could do that. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. Now I have the gym back, and I don't think he can really do anything about that. Ah, oh, with a th with a stupid-ass double arrow. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that he can just screw up all of my plans with a well-placed double arrow. Because so many of my cards just don't have them. Hmm. Hmm. I really wish my Blaze Orb wasn't in the grave right now. That would be a really useful card to have at the moment. Hope we get a right double arrow. Hmm. Okay, I could push myself up onto that gym now, which is useful. Oh no, now he's just gonna... Up. Go up. Will that work? I think that's good. There shouldn't be any way he can get me off of that particular square. So I do believe we're good there. Alright, what are you doing? I don't like that. I don't like what you're trying to do. I don't enjoy it. And I think I'm going to kindly ask you to get out of here, please. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just lock down the board. So he has to move something of mine into a good spot. Ah, I can't. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Actually. Yeah, get over there. Go away. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're kind of at a standstill right now, aren't we? Because there's just... There's not very many plays left that can be made on the board. I think I actually have to move his card into onto mine and destroy it. I think having Croker on the board is just making the board like not able to end. Because he just keeps destroying more cards, basically. Hmm. Does this work? Blocked by opposing arrow. So yeah, I can't even push him onto that, but there must be a move I can make somewhere. Because otherwise the game would just end, wouldn't it? What possible move could I make though? Let's see, I these the two top the two rows to the in the middle are completely full, except for this one at the bottom. Oh, I can move his card down here. Yeah, I guess. Draw. Come on. <laughs> I, I had a draw with him, really. Alright, I think it's quite obvious that we, we need some better cards before we can try to beat them. So, thank you for giving me those two back. I do think making use of uh, Croker is something that could help me. I think I want to buy some of these mystery cards, actually. Yeah. What do you got? Ooh, a mole minion. That's actually really good. Okay, yeah, he's going to my deck. For sure. We can take out you and put in mole minion. And we can put... Cro uh, Toter. That's his name. You're Croker. We can put Toter in. I think I probably want to take out you. I just want to take out as many of these like regular arrow cards as I possibly can. Okay, that was a good that was a good get. Can I get another one of those? A rat splitter. Eh, it's fine. I don't think I had one of those. 
A goulash. Weird. I mean, it's probably better than something else I have in my deck, so I might as well throw it in, but... Let's see, where is it? Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, it's better than... Probably, like, Cooper? Oh no, the Griffith. It's just a better version of the Griffith. Cool. Alright, well, I guess we'll fight Treasure Knight in Joustus next time. But for now, I think this is probably a pretty good part to end this episode off, as we have been going for a bit now. I hope you have enjoyed our latest foray into Joustus and King Knight's quest, and I will see you next time.